Welcome back to The Vocalist. Today I am hearing the artist Shogo for the first time and we're starting with the piece You're Gone. Here we go. Tears for mirror moments I will be stuck in my mind Don't think anymore I said goodbye but I never find a way Oh, and now you're gone You're gone that it was a short one hence no pausing for a change but we're going back to the beginning um this particular beatboxer came highly recommended because he incorporates so much singing as well and there were just so many cool things that happened so we're gonna stop and start now here we go that initial sound i just i I love it. Um, that this is the moment where you all have to educate me with what every sound is called because it was almost like a, it sounds so synthetic. I think that's what's so incredible. And to just start with that right out the gate. Uh. <sighs> Tears for mirror moments I will be stuck in my mind Don't think anymore So brilliant! You don't often see any sort of vocalist or singer, you know, tapping on their larynx because that's where your vocal cords are and that's how sound is made, but to utilize that, um, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. His tone is so warm and buttery and gentle and soft and you can sort of hear a little bit of that bass coming through, um, especially at the end of this line. It was, it's just stunning. It's so gorgeous. Um, I want to see that again. Here we go. It's for mirror moments, I will be stuck in my mind, don't think anymore. <laughs> I said goodbye, but I never find a way. Oh, and now you're gone. I love that. Just mm. okay. I never find a way. Oh, and now you're gone. <laughs> What amazes me most, um, because he's giving us these actual tones, it's not all, um, whether you, whether you say percussive or, um, aspirate, you know, we're getting actual vibration on the chords to go back and forth between these glorious, rich bass notes and then these high falsetto, I mean, maybe 
probably not very high for him, but the range he is spanning in this tiny, tiny section is incredible. There's a lot of dexterity happening in the chords because we have to stretch and thin the chords to get those high notes, and then we have to allow them to kind of release and go back to their nice, short, fat positioning to get those low notes, and he's doing it all in seconds, in seconds. Um... <laughs> what is even happening there's so many cool things um the way he's using his lips and the oh it's <laughs> Also, just how quickly he's going from that... I don't even know what to call it. I was going to say, like, whoosh sound. I don't think that's the technical term. Um, the way he's, like, whoosh, um, using his lips uh, and then going into more of a singing tone. It's just... You go, you go, profile like shot is perfection because we are able to see how relaxed everything is in you can even kind of see the movement of the larynx on those low notes versus when he has to go higher um i've mentioned this i know i said something about this the first time i watched a beatboxer on the channel and it's just the there's there's no tension in sight, and I believe a big part of that is because of how much movement there is in the tongue. Sometimes it's really hard to pinpoint the root cause of tension, and so usually as vocal coaches, we address the jaw, we address the tongue, some of the muscles surrounding the larynx, um, and so just watching how relaxed everything is, he can pull the root of the tongue as far forward and as high as he needs to. He can also use it to depress the larynx. It's just got so much flexibility. And even his jaw position, as we've been watching, it has been relaxed down and back. It's not pulling forward unless he needs it for a specific sound or a specific effect. And so everything is just so calm and so relaxed. And I think it's fascinating to watch everything happen um, it's fascinating to have his use of tension be purposeful and not um, a byproduct of something else he's doing. Uh, here we go. of this whole piece of him it's just so cool and collected and there are moments of intensity but it, he just remained so 
chill. I can't, I can't even describe everything that he was doing to not let that affect his body for him to still have that much relaxation and groove. I don't, I don't know. It was so incredible to watch. I also loved his air utilization, whether it was inhaling or exhaling. Um, it was just the air I feel was in constant motion. Um, and he always used it to create and have an effect. It wasn't just a, a needless, well, breathing is never needless, but you know, every breath had a purpose. And I, yeah, it's just remarkable to watch someone <laughs> do this. So much skill, so much dexterity. And, and then on top of that, you've got, you know, the brilliance of just creating something period. You know, you have to have all of the technique lined up and ready to go. And then you have to be an artist and come up with something that is, that would enable you to not only show off your skill, but then also keep a listener captivated. And that's just, <sighs> that was fun. Anywho, that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for this recommendation and for watching with me, and hopefully I will see you next time.